Hello, Carson. Let's go to you, Ruby. You don't have to do this. I'm a day trader. I could just go home. You could. Make it worth your while. Take you to an ATM. There's 14 grand in it. And everybody just walks away. An ATM? I know where the satchel is. If you knew you would have it with you. I could find it from the riverbank. I know where it is. I know something better. What's that? I know what it's going to be. Where's that? It will be brought to me. And placed on my feet. You don't know to a certainty. In 20 minutes, it could be here. I do know to a certainty. And you know what's going to happen now, Carson? You should admit your situation. There will be more dignity in it. You go to hell. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me ask you something. If the rule you followed brought you to this, of what use was the rule? Do you have any idea how crazy you are? You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you. You, you could have the money, Anton. Yes. Is uh, Carson Wells there? Not in the sense that you mean. You need to come see me. Who is this? You know who it is. You need to talk to me. I don't need to talk to you. I think you do. Do you know where I'm going? Not when I care where you're going. I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? You're in the hospital across the river, but that's not where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? Yeah, I know where you're going. All right. No, she won't be there. It doesn't make any difference where she is. So what are you going up there for? You know how this is going to turn out, don't you? Nope. I think you do. So this is what I'll offer. You bring me the money and I'll let her go. Otherwise, she's accountable. The same as you. That's the best deal you're going to get. I won't tell you you can save yourself, because you can't. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you something, all right? I decided to make you a special project of mine. You ain't gonna have to come look for me at all. <laughs> <laughs>